Well, we're back with another little bit of a tidbit from Vic himself. He does unlocked live streams every single Tuesday. So if you can, get along to him, give him a watch, show him that you're there, show him your support still. And he's actually done a couple of good things in this week's uh, unlocked live stream. What we got now, he's actually done an audiobook and it's called In Plain Sight. This is the cover. Pretty cool, right? So what we're going to do, I do have a couple of videos from his Unlocked, which we're going to play through, and then we'll have a little discussion afterwards. So this is the first one regarding In Plain Sight. Uh, Nibelo. Hello, Nibelo. Uh, the author's name is Dan Willis. Dan Willis, and the book is called In Plain Sight. As soon as I get done here, probably this evening sometime, he just sent me the link to it and I'm going to put it in uh, Twitter. So I'll be tweeting uh, the link and the uh, and the cover art of the book so uh, you guys can find a direct link there. Yes, you should, Luffy Cosplay. If you could change anything, what was that? You have a question. If I could change anything about Conquer Shambhala, what would it be? Oh, I would change Conquer Shambhala. I love Conquer of Shambhala. I think I even, wait, Queen Desai? Queen, did you send me a, a request, a little key in the corner? If you did, you're next. She's never joined the stream before. Um, in answer to your question, I like Conquer of Shambhala even better than Sacred Star of Milos. What do you guys think? Um, which one do you guys like better? I love, see, I love kind of those, those uh, those ones that are kind of based in a historical time period, I thought it was so cool. I just loved it. Okay, Christine got the audio book. Thank you, Christine. Yeah, you want to hear something funny? Dan Willis, the author, sent me a message the other day. And actually, I sent him a message, and I said, hey, Dan, let me know when you want me to start letting people know the book is available. And he wrote me back, and he said, you're not going to believe this. He said, Audible told me that it would be at least 30 days before it would be live, and it's already live. <laughs> so, thank goodness, one thing finally happened sooner than it was supposed to, as opposed to later. I'll tell you, I've, of course, Jack, bro, you can show us your Mandalorian helmet. You know it. Um, in fact, you know what, you guys? I, um, I've got, like, at least... See, that's just amazing. And see, I will leave a link below as well, like he was saying, to where it is. So if you want to go check it out, go check out the link. The next one we got is basically just a quick recap of what he's actually done in the live feed. So this is what we got. Did you guys check out Circle of Stone on online somewhere? It's pretty cool. I hope you'll check that out. And um, I'm out of time now. Hey, Jack, bro, next week... You have your Mandalorian helmet ready, and I will have my Boba Fett helmet ready. And we'll share with everybody, okay? Um, you guys, uh, I'm out of time, but let me just say something. Um, thank you again. I love you guys. I'm so grateful for you. There's There are a lot of angry people in the world. And uh, sometimes that anger turns into violence, and there's just... That shouldn't happen. And so I want you guys to all stay safe, okay? Um, be very, very safe. Be vigilant. Take care of yourselves and uh, and your families. And uh, I will be sending out my love and good thoughts to you and prayers to all of you. And we're going to meet here next week, right? Yes? Let me see those yeses. Yes, yes, yes. Tuesday, 6 p.m. Central. And I promise not to wear one of these workout shirts. <laughs> I'm going to wear a normal shirt. I may even wear a Snoopy shirt next week because the world needs more Snoopy. Am I right? Um, check out In Plain Sight, the audio book that I just finished. It's a lot of fun on Audible uh, by Dan Willis. And you guys, um, be safe. Take care of yourselves. I love you dearly. God bless you guys. And we shall see you next Tuesday. Take care. 
it's just brilliant because, as he says towards the end of that, literally, the world needs more stupid. And it does. It's, there's a lot of stuff going on in the world right now. There's a lot of hate, a lot of anger. And having that mixed with a global pandemic as well, it's it sucks. This world sucks at this moment in time. This year has been the worst year of my life. And <laughs> when you think of it like that, and some of the things that's happened in my past, literally people die in and horrible things happen to the family and friends. And when you see what's going on with 2020 and you see what's happened, it's just like, my God, literally, this just sucks, you know? And the only way to describe, how I can describe this year anyway, is... It's a television show where literally each month is a brand new season and there's just a brand new plot twist every single time. Literally. And I'm pretty sure now if if we had aliens invasion, you know, anything like that, everyone's going to be like, huh, is that it? Is that all we got now? You know, it's not going to be a surprise to anyone because the stuff that has happened this year, you know, we were on the brink of World War Three, the very beginning of the year. Then there was a couple of things going on. Then you had then you had the pandemic. And now you've got this was happening in America. And it's just crazy. This year is just horrible. And let's just say, let's just write this year off, shall we? 2020 is gone. Get rid of it. But you know, like you were saying, though, needs more stupid. Just so everyone can have a laugh and have a joke. That's why I've been posting a couple of videos now and again. I've been trying to make the videos a little bit more entertaining for people. Because... Again, that takes their mind off other things. But if you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell for future updates. And I'll see all you wonderful people soon.